What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Ja'Kayla A. And I'm back with another nail tutorial. Today, I'm working on my ready one practice hand. Just cutting my tips to an XL length. All right, you guys. Here's an up-close view of all the products I use. I have two chisel powders. Neon 5 and Neon 1. I have an eye gel beauty powder in electric blue. I have two not polish powders, one in M11, one in M12. I have a nail cakery glitter, this is my favorite glitter, in Pop Rocks. And I have my cover color, which was me a secret cover new blush. And I have these three gels. I use the matte top coat over the Love Wind nail. Love Winds, excuse me. I use the Beatles top coat as I always do. This is also the Beatles matte gel. I love both of them. And I love the Valentino um, gels. This is black. I don't know if the number is 148 or not because they don't do names. But this is just the jet black from Valentino. Today when I'm recording this, it is Juneteenth but it's also still pride month because obviously it's june and so i just wanted to come on here with the pride month nail tutorial something with bright colors something that reflects the rainbow just something that's giving them summertime vibes with really really bright colors i have not believe it or not i have not did any like pride nails like as far as on my clients i don't know what the vibes are i've been doing some colors i'm always working with color but i haven't done any pride specific nails a lot of my clients do not do holiday or themed nails the only time i really get holiday or themed type of nails is doing valentine's day and maybe maybe i'll get some people wanting something for halloween but usually yeah usually it's a no usually i don't get a lot of people wanting themed nails during holiday times so i haven't been doing any pride sets on my clients so i had to come on here and just show something as always i'm not really knowing what i'm doing so if it's taking me a little bit long time if like it's stalled a little bit i'm really just looking at what i got in front of me which I had a bunch of colors set out, had some glitter, and I just knew that it was going to be something based around pride. And I'm just figuring it out as I go, as I always am. I don't really pre-think about it at all. I literally set up the practice hand, pull out a bunch of colors that are just on my mind, whatever's on my spirit, I just let it lead me. I just did a little ombre, a little rainbow on a pinky and some bling and it turned out really cute it would have been cute if it was a whole set on like a person and then i would have probably did a little bit more jazzy a little different but i really did like what it turned out to be when y'all laying down the rainbow or doing any type of marbling with color you want to be really really thin as possible with your application because you will have to cap it so i had all these different colors that i wanted to blend and marble from one to the next and then on top of that i had a nail bed color so i definitely wanted to make this application as thin as possible and then the same could be said for the pinky i did a rainbow one color leading into the next a little bit less of a marbling and just more of a placement like a color blocking but i wanted to make that application as thin as possible because i knew for a fact that i would have to cap that nail also this is glitter right here so i never file on top of glitter i always cap in glitter too so you want to make sure that that application is very thin not too thin because <laughs> You do want it to show and you do want it the, the pigmentation to come out, but you still don't want to make it too chunky. I know for a fact that as I am doing nails more and becoming more experienced and getting a better clientele and just coming into the nail industry more, 
I really realized how important it is to have a quality product. Like today, I'm using a little bit of Eye Gel Beauty, but I'm mostly using Chisel and Not Polish. Those are two of my favorite acrylic brands. I really, really, really want a whole Not Polish collection. I just have a few colors here and there for Not Polish. Also, while I'm here talking about Not Polish, at 500 subscribers, I will be doing a Not Polish giveaway just a few items that I love from there and a few items that I don't even own myself. I will be buying and hosting a giveaway. So please subscribe and thank you if you are already subscribed. But Not Polish is really one of my favorite brands and quality. As you do nails, you will find that paying a little bit more and getting a quality product will pay off in the, the long run. You know what I'm saying? In the end game. If you're playing a long game with doing nails and you're really serious about it, investing in good products, good drills, good brushes is king. Like you don't even understand it. At first, I didn't understand it. It was more about quantity than quality. Just making sure I had every color, every sticker, every polish. Like that was my focus. But now I much rather have fewer things and just knowing that they're of good quality. Here, when I'm doing my blend, um, this little diagonal rainbow, I'm making sure that my beads are not too wet. I do not want them to blend into each other. I'm just applying them, making them diagonal, and going into the next color. I did not use an X-Acto knife or anything to make it too precise. I'm just doing it, playing it by ear, and it ended up really cute. It ended up exactly how I wanted it. I'm just making sure that my beads are on a little bit of a drier side so that when I put it there, it'll stay there and it won't just run all over the place, you know?
All right, so here I am using my 80-80 grid file. I'm just getting those side walls, and then I got the surface as well with the hand file. Just trying to keep that a really crispy square shape. I didn't even use the e-file. I did everything by hand, and I did that over all four of the nails. So I wanted to do a little bit of hand painting, nothing too crazy, y'all know I don't really do that. I don't really do hand paints, it's my greatest weakness. I try to work on it all the time, but I don't really do it like that. And so I just wanted to write love wins over the pinky nail. I tried to write it with a dotting tool at first and I did not like how it was coming out. And so then you're gonna see me a little bit later switch to a brush if I was, to do it again i would go the brush route but i would have still made it a little bit thicker the lettering the actual script like my drawing of the letters came out a little bit too thin for my liking but after we use the acrylic to make it pop a little bit you're gonna see that it still came out cute but i definitely would have went over it again to make it a little bit more of a bolder font yeah, that's that's the word. I would have made it a little bit bolder font instead of so thin. But this brush that I'm using is so thin that it makes precision lines so easy. Now, without curing it, I'm going to go over the top with some clear acrylic powder. Dust it off. I made a mess. Dropped some. Tried to pick it up. Child, here I am scooping it up. Ugh, a mess. I hate the waste. Hate the waste product. But after you let it sit, you want to do it again without curing it. You want to do it two times. Then you can cure it for 30 seconds. You definitely want to let that powder seep in a little bit. Then you want to do it again. Then cure it. So I'm picking up my Neon Stone, non, non Swarovski Crystals. Um, just some stones I got off AliExpress, really pretty neon hearts. They came with all type of shapes. I just picked out the hearts of all the colors that I had. Same colors in the set. And then I also have some SS16 ABs. And as always, my glue is the squeeze tube of the Zule Nail Adhesive. I'm just using some random wax pencil that I got with some random affordable stones. And I just put the hearts down the side of the nail with the crystals. I thought it ended up really, really cute. I'm drying, I'm using some of that hurry up um, nail glue dryer. It works amazing, but just use it from a distance. If you use it too close, it'll make the glue white because it'll dry it so fast and it'll just crystallize and make it white. So make sure that you spray it from a distance. My top coat, like you saw in my product list video or insert, is from Beatles as always. I used the glossy top coat on three of the nails. And then on the pinky where the lettering was, I used the Beatles matte top coat. 
I don't do a lot of matte nails, but with that lettering and with that um, acrylic that we had did on that pinky, I really like how it came out matte instead of glossy. I did like that effect. All right, y'all, and here's the final product. I love how it came out. Thank y'all so much for watching and for subscribing. If you are not subscribed, please do. Giveaway coming soon, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye.